Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I am checking the ambiguous grammar. So now this grammar is ambiguous or not, we have to check. So here the sentence has to be derived in two different ways, either by applying LMD or RMD twice. And if you are able to get the string W using this grammar two, in two different ways and construct a parse tree, if the structure of parse trees are different, then we say that the grammar is ambiguous. So now show for example, using this grammar, we have to check the ambiguity of the grammar. To check for the ambiguity of the grammar, using this grammar, you try to derive the string A, A, B, A, B, B. First check whether are we able to derive the string using this grammar. It's a combination of A's and B's. So, the string can be derived using this grammar. So, how we derive? Start from the starting symbol always. S derives. I am applying leftmost derivation. S derives. My first symbol is A here. So, I have to start with the first production. S derives. A, S, B, S. S is a non-terminal here. And for this, S from the leftmost I am substituting this S with again. The second symbol is also A. So, I am substituting again A S B S and copy this B S as it is. So, now we got A A S. So, here A A. The next symbol here is B. To get that B for this S, I am substituting now B S A S. Second rule. This is rule 1, rule 2 and rule 3. So here B S A S for this S from the left hand side I am substituting. Copy the rest of the string B S B S as it is. Next A A B we got A A B and for this S yes, to get the next A. And substituting the rule 3 that is epsilon. So if I substitute epsilon for this that is S derives epsilon. Then this becomes null. You will get A S B S B S. Again in the next step. A A B A. For this S. See now I want A B. Here A A B A B. So here A A B A B. So, for this S, yes, we should substitute what? Epsilon. So, if you substitute Epsilon, you will get vanishes. You will get B, S, B, S. And for this S, yes, what we should substitute now from the leftmost derivation? S yes, is substituted with Epsilon. We want next is B from the string. So, B and write the S. Yes. And for this S, yes, what we have to substitute in the next step? A, A, B, A, B, B and S is substituted with Epsilon. See, we got back the string A, A, B, A, B, B using this grammar. Now, try to construct the parse tree for this grammar. We have applied the leftmost derivation. So, write the parse tree S derives A, S, B, S. And for this yes, what we did? We substituted again A S B S B S. And for this yes, what we substituted to get the second B, we substituted B S A S. And for the yes next, what we substituted A A B A B B. So here we substituted. Epsilon and here also we substituted epsilon. For S we substituted epsilon. Here also we substituted epsilon. So this is the structure of the parse tree for this grammar. This is one way of deriving the string. Now I should try to derive the same string in uh, by changing any one of the production and construct the parse tree. And I have to show that that structure of both the parse trees are different, hence the grammar is ambiguous. 
so any one production any one rule if you change it's enough to show that they are ambiguous so now see i am going to derive the same sentence by changing one or two production so we'll start from the beginning itself s derives a s b s because a is the starting symbol here so the same string i am trying to derive in another way so s derives a s b s again i am going to apply the left most derivation and for this s again i am substituting second symbol is a here so substitute a s b s sir copy that b s as it is and next any one production i have to change so now i am going to substitute for s as epsilon rule number 3 then i'll get back if i substitute epsilon i'll get a a b s b s you see we got a a b but again we what we want we want one more a b here we want one more a b and with what we can substitute after b i want a so what which rule i can apply i can apply this rule rule number 1 because my next symbol is a and it is followed by b here only i'll get that so substitute a s b s for this s and copy that b s as it is so you will get a a b a and for s you substitute epsilon you will get a b s b s again a a b a b for s you substitute epsilon then you will get b s and again a a b a b b substitute epsilon so you'll get back the string so these are the steps we should follow any one production one rule if you change for the next tree it's enough to show that it is a ambiguous grammar now construct the parse tree for this s derives a s b s and for this yes again we substituted a s b s and for this yes we substituted epsilon for this yes we substituted b s a s same from the derivation now we have done so here for this yes we substituted what we substituted s derives epsilon after epsilon we got here a a b and for this yes what we substituted a s b s so it is a s b s okay then for this yes we substituted epsilon and for this yes again we substituted epsilon and for this yes we substituted epsilon so if you compare the previous string what we derived the same string apply in lmd the structure of the tree both the trees are different which are not same the same string how i derived previously which i have cleaned the board both the strings are same they are derived in two different way but the structure of the trees are different hence the given grammar is ambiguous so we say since there exist two different parse trees the grammar is ambiguous two different parse tree there exist two different derivation for the same string w hence the grammar is ambiguous thank you